think the, the work, the mission, and the vision of the European Hydration Institute is vitally important. Uh, being able to promote good, high-quality science in the area of hydration is, is critical. There's a, a, a clear dearth of good knowledge in that area. And to be able to disseminate that knowledge to a wide audience of decision makers, policy makers, scientists, and the general public is also of vital importance. I think the understanding of the importance of good hydration as it relates to overall health is variable among policymakers. I think there are some cases where it's gaining momentum in terms of, of knowledge and being implemented into good health policy, and there are other cases where it really needs to gain that momentum. I think that uh, there's a misconception about hydration in the elderly, and that is that the very healthy, free-living elderly drink enough fluid on a daily basis to generally maintain good health. Institutionalized elderly, those in hospital settings and other types of institutional settings, are the ones who on a day-to-day -day basis we need to be cautious about in terms of monitoring their hydration status in terms of fluid in and fluid out. Having said that, I think the other area of concern is really on a short-term basis for dehydration in the elderly. When older individuals are exposed to high ambient temperatures, for example, or exercise or other types of physical activity and lose body fluid, that fluid is typically not restored as immediately as it is in younger individuals. And part of that is a problem with thirst and the way older individuals sense thirst and regulate their fluid balance. Thirst is really determined by two physiological mechanisms. One is the increase in osmolality in the blood that's sensed in the brain, and the other is by a decrease in blood volume that's sensed within the cardiovascular system. It's this latter sensing of low fluid that really creates a deficit in thirst in the elderly. And it's really a function of the general aging of the cardiovascular system.